But I do. I love my family, man. I come from a great family, man. I love, they're wonderful people. Um, I just Have you ever been on one of those family vacations that sounded really good until you got on the vacation and it's a shit show? Has anybody been on a cruise? Has anybody ever been on a cruise? Royal Caribbean, go fuck yourself, man. I got duped. Have you seen the commercials? Holy crap. Hot girls in bikinis diving in the pools. Well-behaved kids playing on deck. Happy, good-looking people interacting with each other. None of those people are on my boat. There were 5,000 people with 75% body fat. Strapped in Tiva sandals. Look like they're baking bread right there on their feet. With little corn chips dangling off the end. Feel my pain, feel it. And they're just fucking sweating across the deck every day. You know where they're going? The goddamn buffet! That's all anybody does is eat on these boats. 24 seven, man. I walked into the gym, ghost town. There's dust on the treadmills. But every fat ass in America rented a scooter riding around the top of that ship looks like NASCAR on a Saturday. Eight days, eight fucking days. Oh, and there was this one guy, man. I swear to God, I love this guy, man. His name was Bubba. Bubba, shit you not. Bubba from Arkansas. Bubba was about 5'6", 380. Wore cargo shorts stuffed with Reese's in case of an emergency. My brother and I would wake up in the morning to watch him eat at the buffet. He would stack a plate like an art form. He would have scrambled eggs as a foundation. Then he'd put egg rolls as little columns all around it put pizza on top of that, like ice cream and everything. And then he put a Diet Coke under his arm. <laughs> Bubba, you got 82,000 calories there. Drink the fucking Coke, man. <laughs> and people always tell you, don't, don't worry about the room. Don't spend your money on the room. Fuck you. <laughs> Spend every nickel you ever earn. Spend your kid's college fund on that fucking room. Get something with a window or a balcony. I was in one of those holding cells on the inside of the boat. Four by six room, two cots. Orange jumpsuit hanging in the closet. And there was a drain in the middle of the room. Hand to God, I thought that's where you peed the first three days I was there. he find the bathroom, this fucking closet tucked behind the door. I'm shitting like this for five days. Oh my God, and you start to hate people. You hate people. You see the same faces every day. You're like, if I see you walk by my door one more time, I'll stab you in the fucking neck. I swear to God I will. I'll burn those Lord of the Flies kids you drag around this boat. <laughs> That's why they have shore excursions. If you don't know what shore excursions are, they're timeouts so we all don't shiv each other on this goddamn boat. <laughs> we went to Mexico. <sighs> what a shithole this place is. Mexicans, I get it now. Run, jump, swim. Get the fuck out of that place, man. It stinks. And we were in Cozumel, which is the French Riviera, this dust bowl of a country. And what they do, man, is you're sitting in your room and they, you have these little bitty TVs and they play these subliminal messages over and over to get you to go on these shore excursions. Like you're just sitting there all day long. It's like, do you want to go snorkeling in Mexico? Wake up tomorrow and go snorkeling in Mexico. Ooh, you should go snorkeling in Mexico. My brother and I are sitting there going, we'll do anything to get off this fucking boat. What do we got to do? 
This was the commercial, I swear to God, word for word. I memorized it. It must have played a thousand times. It goes, are you ready to go snorkeling in Mexico? You'll be picked up on a 50-foot catamaran as you sail across blue waters. You'll dive amongst coral reef and swim with pretty tropical fish. That's not what happened. No. Five Mexican guys with an Australian accent pick us up on a 10-foot trash barge. That's all I can call it. It looked like the POW ship from Waterworld. Remember that fucking thing? And I'm picturing this beautiful island and everything. We're 10 feet away from the cruise ship. They lower a drawbridge, just start fucking kicking people off. We're out there swimming through diesel fuel. The water looked like the bottom of a dumpster after Mardi Gras. It was disc There's no fish living in this water. You couldn't see a reef if it was in front of your face. I saw like a half-eaten box of adult diapers and a bunch of chiclets floating in the water. Ooh! And then we went to Jamaica. Oh dear, what a wonderful place that is. If you're a criminal. They got four-year-olds with Glocks tucked in their diapers, man, smoking cigarettes, fucking yeah. And we had this couple, man. We had this old couple that stayed next door to me and my brother. She, they were so nice, man. They must have been on a thousand cruises. And every time we would stop somewhere, they'd come over like Julie Cruz director, knock on the door and tell us what we had to do. So we're in Jamaica, they're like, oh my God, Court, we are in Jamaica. You have got to go kiss the dolphins. It's only $250. I'm thinking, $250? <laughs> this dolphin better have no teeth swim up and suck my dick when I get this pool. I live in California, that shit's free, bitch. My brother and I want somebody at the casino. We're like, let's go get our dick sucked by a dolphin. <laughs> but I gotta tell you about this, man. We went, on this, we went on this excursion thing, man, and you go, we get in this bus with about 25 people. The driver has a gun on his lap. We go through three goddamn war zones to get to this aquarium. And then you come off this bus, and you go down this hallway, and you go, you're going to the water. The water's waist deep. They hand you a life vest like you're going on the goddamn Titanic, man, I swear <laughs> to God. You got this huge life vest on, then everybody wades into this pool of dolphin shit. That's all I can do. It's disgusting. One of the dolphins had a cold sore. Shit, you not. It was disgusting, man. <laughs> and then there's all these people standing, and they just parade these poor mammals by like they're Singapore sex slaves. Everybody's just molesting them one by one. And the guy next to me turns to me, and he goes, whatever you do, don't touch the dolphin's penis. The last thing I want is a picture of my mantle of me jacking off a dolphin. 